What is up designers? For the past couple of days, I've been looking on YouTube for ideas for different home screen designs. Ever since iOS 14 came out, I've been really interested in how people were designing or, you know, changing their home screen designs. With the introduction of widgets in iOS 14, I definitely think we're going to start seeing a lot of very interesting home screen designs. A lot of what I found on the internet, however, were, you know, more home screen designs that were more about the aesthetics rather than the function. Uh, and me being a UX designer, obviously I took a look at it and I was like, hey, like people are kind of like wasting the potential here. So I sat down and decided to redo my home screen, redo um, like all of the pages that I have. I like reset my home screen, deleted or removed all of the apps from my home screen and started from scratch. So I decided today I'm going to sit down here and show you guys what I have set up and hopefully it'll inspire you to come up with new ways of setting up your home screen with a focus on function and productivity. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is going to be a really quick video. What I decided to do was to focus on pages. Now, I don't see a lot of people talking about this pages feature, and I think it is by far the coolest, most interesting uh, feature to come to iOS 14. The fact that I can like set different pages and hide and show the pages to me was super exciting. So I decided to design my home screen based around this idea. So I'm just going to walk you through each individual page. So the first page here I have related to, I guess, my, my daily drivers. So these are the apps that I most commonly use, right? So I also threw in a couple of widgets related to the calendar, my to-do my to -do list and a clock and, you know, uh, the photos app. An interesting thing about the photos is it pulls from your featured photos. I didn't like it at the beginning because I wanted to be able to choose what photo goes there, but I actually think it's kind of cool previously i would never really look at the featured photos that apple selected so i think this is a cool way to bring that feature to the forefront and it's kind of like a neat little surprise every day to see what photo apple has selected okay so the next page i have is focused around photography right so this is where i have the different cameras that i use instagram obviously lightroom that i use for editing my photos on the top right corner i have um later that i use to schedule my photos and you know weather widget and here i created this like you know big camera shortcut that just launches the camera the next page that I have is focused around productivity and work. So this is the page that I that I have. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing at this um, this quote here. Stop reading inspirational quotes and get to work. Anyway, so I use this app called Motivation to come up with different inspirational quotes. And in the middle there, um, it's my work timeline kind of so it just shows what I'm what's currently going on and what I have next top right I have my to-do list again and then other apps sprinkled here focus around like um, communication uh, work related stuff all my Google Doc things so the next page is all about out and about so this is my getting around Hong Kong page so I have my taxi app I have my bus app I have like uh, my metro app over here Google Maps obviously in the middle there I have city mapper I love that I can quickly select you know get me home or get me to work or get me somewhere um, super cool on the top right I have my battery widget so this is where I kind of you know I could see how much battery I have left if whether I need a charge or or whatever and then the last screen I have here is all about I guess news and um, financial stuff so this is where I kind of put like you know the stock apps I got Wikipedia on the top right I have you know different world clocks around and then all of my financial personal banking apps so there there you have it that's kind of how I have everything set up now this is where things get really exciting for me so if I just long press on the screen and I tap into this I can actually edit the pages. So for example, if I am at work and I'm meant to be focusing, you know, I'm not supposed to be distracted. I could turn off all of the other pages and all I have is my work, my work apps. So, you know, I, I'm not tempted by Instagram. I'm not tempted by any other apps. This is my focus mode. Let's say I'm out and about and I'm, you know, going on a photography walk. 
I can turn on my photos page, turn off my work page and turn on my out and about page. So now all I have is, you know, you know, my photo uh, my getting around Hong Kong apps. And then I also have my photography apps. So this is super exciting to me because it gives me more power to kind of like focus in on what I need to pay attention to. And I don't see a lot of people talking about this feature. That's about it from my side. Um, I'd love to see how you guys are setting up your home screen. Are you exploring widgets? Is it something you're excited about? Are you ignoring it? You know, please leave a comment in the, in the comment box below and let us know how you guys are approaching your home screen designs. That is all from me. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.